Now that we have everything installed, let's get started on our first project. And again, in that top right hand corner is that little plus sign. If you tap on that, it opens up a list of preset canvas templates for you to choose from. Now there's quite a few and mine has quite a bit more than yours probably just because every time I make a custom canvas, it'll go ahead and add it here to the bottom of this list. Now the biggest problem you're probably noticing is I didn't label them. So what if I wanted to edit one of these presets? Well, I can swipe to the left on them and tap edit. And let's just say I just want to change the name. I'll just change it to demo here. Tap on the name, change it, hit save. And now you can see it right here. Now, if I wanted to just delete it, I could, but I also noticed that there's lots of other options in there to really create a custom canvas. So let's do that by just making our own custom canvas. Let's go to the top right hand corner here and you'll see this little file folder with a plus sign. You tap on that and here are all of our options again. So I'm just gonna do demo again for the name. And if you tap on the width or the height, you'll notice first off that it's automatically defaulting to pixels. But down here with our number pad on the left hand side, it gives you different units of measurement that you can go by. So I want to go by inches. Now immediately that changed this little setting here at the bottom to too large, meaning I can't do it at that size. 300 or 3600 inches is way too big. So let's try something smaller. Maybe five inches by five inches. Now I set it at 300 DPI. That's great if I'm going to print it, but the maximum layers now are 234. Procreate has maxed out the amount of layers that you can do depending on the size of your artboard or your canvas, just because it knows what it can handle. So if I were to change that to maybe 10 inches by 10 inches, notice how that number went down significantly down to 55 maximum layers. So just know if you need a lot of layers for what you're doing, then you're going to want to go at a more reasonable size and you're going to change that size to a little bit smaller. Color profiles. RGB is what it's automatically set to. That's great if this is just gonna live digitally on a screen, that's fantastic. But I'm gonna go to CMYK because maybe I want to print this. And then you have lots of different options. And if you're really getting into the printing, this may become very, very important to you. So you have lots of options there. Time-lapse settings. The great thing about Procreate is it automatically saves a time-lapse of your entire project as you're working on it. So here you can change those settings a little bit. If you want that time-lapse video to come out as a 1080p, 2K or 4K, you can change that. You can also change the quality and then HEVC at the bottom if you'd like that as well. And then your last option over here is the canvas properties. You can give it a background color automatically. It'll just default to white if you don't, or you can change the background to just be hidden, which allows it to be kind of like a transparent background, kind of see that grid pattern in the back for more things like PNG files that you would do with a transparent background. But that's pretty much it. And so let's say create. And now we are jumping into our first custom canvas. I hope you feel comfortable getting started. Next, we're gonna recap everything with an exercise.